All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Theo Johnson Player Career Mode. I'm definitely not hungover, and we're here today with the playoffs to determine whether we're going to be a Premier League side come next season, obviously. And we, as you can see, are kicking off against Birmingham in the playoff semi-finals. If you don't know who the other teams are, I will give you a little lowdown quickly. We are going to be taking on... Oh, we're going to take on Birmingham, but Brentford are going to be taking on Middlesbrough. So, those are the four that qualify for the playoffs. What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, if you didn't see the last episode, we did six games and we completed the season. Obviously, we didn't get automatic promotion. We drew against Watford. Wait, where did we start last time? We started against... Uh, Wickham. So we beat Wickham to kick off the episode. We then drew against Watford. We lost to Aston Villa, which is the one team we needed to beat in this whole scenario. Um, we lost, or we beat Middlesbrough, I should say. We beat Preston, and then we ended the season by drawing to the team that we're about to play again against Birmingham. So if that draw is any sign of anything to come, it's not the greatest sign. So what we need is absolute top tier performances from our boys here. There is no room for messing up. We haven't got any objectives, I don't think. Or at least I've not been assigned any. Those are our season ones. We'll go over it all at the end of the episode. But I don't think I've been assigned any for this kind of scenario. No, I haven't. It says it doesn't say I haven't, like... It doesn't say I've failed my other ones. But I don't know if those will count towards playoffs. You're alive, Mia. Well done. That's good. <laughs> right. So, before we go into the game... And before my head starts pounding, we're going to take a look at some of the new stories. Hero Theo Johnson grabs equaliser for Sheffield United. Hero Johnson's equaliser saved the day and helped Sheffield United draw against Birmingham. Yeah, it was a last minute equaliser. FA Cup's player tournament was Rashford. I'm assuming Man United won the FA Cup then. Yeah, they did. Okay, that does not that is not Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, I'll tell you that much. Um, oh, they beat Man City as well. And they won the Europa League. So Man United had a good season. I'll see it all after this uh, playoff hopefulness. Like, well, hopefully we'll get promoted. But We also got player of the tournament for the championship. Sheffield United's Theo Johnson has been named the player of the championship. Took the top scorer award as well. We got 36 goals. And um, I got player of the month for April as well. So I had a good season, personally. But it's not over yet. I will show you all the leaderboards and everything at the end of this. But I just want to get into this, get it either out of the way and we fail, or get it done and we go through to the Premier League. So, similar lineup to what we just played. Obviously, we just played Birmingham and at the end of the last stream. 4 2 3 1 wide. We're going with a 5 3 2. I need my team to perform. This is the one time I need the rest of my team to actually play well. But, here we go. I will give my all as well. Yeah, this is the last episode of Season 2 of the Career Mode. Next time, obviously, we'll be into Season 3. And I'm not sure... Well, I probably will stay with... How's that fucked up? Whatever, cool. I probably will stay with Sheffield United for another season, but we'll see what offers we get, realistically. Three goals in his last three games. He's in sparkling form. We'll have the action on EA TV. I'm not going to request a transfer outright, but if a good offer comes in, Hello, I won't turn it down. If it's Man United, I'm definitely not turning it down. We're going there. I know we've got good strikers, but I'm a good striker as well. So, so basically, two legs of semi-finals we face. Wait, are we at Bramall Lane? We're at Bramall Lane, aren't we? I think. Been a long, hard season. So many fixtures put in oh, their strength and depth I'm in these confused. squads to the test. But it'll count for Basically, the point is, today. we've got a leg They'll at one stadium, then a leg count. at the other stadium, and then whoever wins on aggregate will go through to the final, the and City. whoever wins the final, obviously, well will be promoted to the Premier League. So we need mode. to beat Birmingham we'll here, and then we need to be either Brentford or Middlesbrough. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him. Especially the number 10 who will be given a free I'm regretting roll. drinking a lot yesterday because my head is hurting, but 
I did promise a stream for today, so here we are. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. The wing backs are going to be crucial. Oh, we've got to do this. We can't fuck this up. Yeah, I, didn't I mean, really we can. Like it, and, we always and we probably we're will. Because it's me. Like but I don't want to. But a 4 4 2 can really create a 2v1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two Thank forwards up front. And now they get the ball uh, the kick off proceedings in the semi finals. First leg, anyway. We're at the Birmingham Stadium that I've forgotten the name of. So the second leg will take place at Bramall Lane. Jake I just want to Clark, note Sultan. as well that there aren't any away goals uh, in this one. No away goals rule. Mikel San Jose with it. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Using his strength to shield the ball. Oh, just sliding and block it. Oh no! Making sure Great defence. Oh, I thought it well, was hard now, but I couldn't quite. I'm gonna play it a watch. A I hope I can perform today. Because against Birmingham last time, it was really difficult him? to get past the defence, well, but we eventually did in the last minute. Game, I hope it's not a similar story, but they are very play, defensive, so I'm surprised. And that's the case today. Pascal Gross. Definitely not passing it around here. Danger. It's our last option, our really last way to get through. To oh, get it's a heavy pass. ball from Sam. It was looking good. A little heavy. It's our last chance saloon of getting to the Premier League. We didn't get the league title. We didn't get automatic promotion. Johnson. So it kind of comes down to this. And Sam's giving it a try and probably shouldn't have done, from there, but to be honest. To but yeah, no, I don't, like, I'm not sure where he's aiming that. He must just hit the Birmingham fans, try to hit that guy. Or any of the guys, really. Or even the woman next to him. I don't know. I don't know who he was aiming for there, but it definitely wasn't the target. He had his own target. Christy. Now, as much as I'd love to go into the second Fernandes. leg of the lead, I just don't know Number if I see it happening. Christy. Still holding on to possession quite well. Give us that. Some oh, progress with Stevens the ball go for cross here. No, he's not. Okay. Can he put them in front? Oh, I think they shot off. Can they survive? Wonderful chance. I don't care who scored it. Who scored it? Was it in Sam? And we kind of just bundled up together. I don't. I think it was in Sam. It must have been because he's on celebrating. Who cares though? As long as the goal's in the net, I don't give a shit. Obviously, the goal will be in the net as long as the ball's in the net. Well, here's the replay, Derek, and defenders must defend. So Stevens yeah, did really well there to keep the ball. I cut across, ball, and and, really and Sam, yeah, here. easily, and Sam there on that angle. I wanted the goal, but and Sam was there. He was in a better position. So well, fair play to him, to and fair play to us for taking the lead. Front. Still work to be done, though. It's a long way to go, but and Sam gets his first goal in the Championship playoffs. Has a different leaderboard for whatever reason for the playoffs, but there you go. The opening goal of the game then. I got the I got the highest goals in the league anyway, so I'm not really fussed. Someone else gets the goals for the playoffs. As long as we win the playoffs, I don't really care what goes on. Well, they need to get tighter, and he read it superbly. I'm not playing too badly, you know. Better than the last time we played Birmingham, which is good because we needed a bit more skill this time, a bit more on the line. Pascal Gross. Well, that's a super ball over the top. That's it. He's going to go for himself, Gross. mate. You, okay. you just waste too much time now. Cool. Well, you know what? Can't get all the right options. I should have got to pass it off to me here. and I should have tried to shot, available. but it's whatever. Shunic. I like how the ref is in a similar colour to our away kit. Like, they should change the referee's. Uh, shirt color. Keeping the ball moving. Birmingham try to look for avenues here to get through. We defended it initially, but it's still not away. We don't have much to do this game yet. Really good Personally, anyway. 
defenders have been doing well. Has it back because I knew I was going to lose it, and then get an awful pass to me. Halilovic. Halilovic is definitely the one to watch. Although I think it was Coyote that got the goal last time. I want to say. Oh no, it wasn't. It was San Jose, the man who's retiring. So remember. I said that the goal is fine because he's retiring and I remember doing the playoffs, so he hasn't retired yet, he's still got the playoffs to play. Well, if Birmingham seeded. do get to the Premier League, San Jose won't be a part of it. Look good for the counter -attack. That's, well, that yeah, that's a, that's so a promising, searching ball there, really. Possibly not the right one, but I wanted to see if I could pull it off. Oh, well, there's no possibility about it, it wasn't the right one because we didn't get it to the player, but... Give it the old try anyway, you know. Offside, just that player gets it. Okay. He didn't get it. Good tackle. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be. Oh, lovely ball as well. Not even there. Although A, he's offside, and B, for some reason, he's headed it. Can't always get the right decisions or the right runs or the right everything. Can't always do everything right, it's pretty much what I said. Can't be the perfect footballer, there isn't such a thing. Giving the ball Anyways. away. Um Ronaldo, I guess, or Messi. Fernandez. Christie. He's gonna pass it around the midfield all there. Just looking for the right moment for that know. final pass. Okay, maybe not the play there in Sam Lad and he was just Throwing falling on his ass after the cross. Sorry if I'm a little quiet, my head is sore. Johnson. What can Definitely he do not hangover though. Will it be? Excellent block. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think that was going to me. I thought that was going to gross. We had the opportunity though. It's good to have an opportunity, even if we aren't scoring it. As long as they don't score either, like we need to make sure they don't score. The fence needs to be on top form. Here's Alan Halilovic. And now with Shunic. And this is not what I mean by top form, we're letting Coyote through. Halilovic gets tackled brilliantly, we can get it away. That's what I'm kinda of worried about, just a run through like that and through in a second. And that's an important intervention. Tried to keep the ball but didn't quite. Still a goal to the good, or the blade, and that ball isn't staying in play. Ampadu has done really well so far. I was criticising him earlier in the season, but he's definitely improved. That being said, I still think we need a stronger defence if we do make it to the Premier League. I think we need a stronger defence anyway, if I'm being honest, but if we get to Premier League, there's no shot we're surviving with Ampadu, we'll Robinson, Sonic. Oh god, the hiccups. Is on well, oh no. Alright, good. I've not had a lot to do, but I've done most stuff right, I suppose. Johnson. Plenty of running room in the wide position. It wasn't third time, but okay. Oh, marvellous defending. Every fucking right time I'm ready to take a shot, I get the ball taken off me. <laughs> and there it is, the half time whistle. One nil though to the good, thanks to Jean Pierre and Sam after being set up by Stevens. Got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously the most got important the person in the match the lead, at the moment, Jean-Pierre and Sam. Very as well. Might be sending us through to the final. It might be the only goal in the whole two legs, you never know. The other playoff semi-final first leg is Brentford nil, Middlesbrough nil. Not a goal there yet. We haven't got any manager feedback. No shots, none on target. 57% possession though for Birmingham. They're holding the ball, they're just not getting an opportunity. Three shots, two on target, 43% possession for ourselves. It would be nice to get a second, you know, just to put a bit of distance, but 
it isn't easy. It wasn't easy to get the first. They're a very the defensive team. And are ready now for the second half. We'll have to wait and see, but... Stevens. We can try out oh, move, mate. I'm in body block. <laughs> Johnson. And there's about three of them on me, at least. So. Lovely. Pascal Gross. Well, Gross can't quite get the header over. The ball back. Yeah, they're very, they're very far back there. I had a lot of people Shunich. on there. On me. Coyote with it. Phone's messing up. Should be okay though. And now with Shunic. Because I've not had a lot of action in this match. Shunic. It's been more. Uh, just, if I get the ball, I have to pass it off quite quickly because they're closing me down, which makes sense. Michael but San Jose. It's annoying to. Coyote. I bring it forward for Birmingham. There's a space there for Birmingham to equalise, and they've done exactly that. Are you fucking joking me? So, can someone give me an explanation as to why that bit of space isn't being closed down? I have to watch this back, because I thought. Well, I thought Ramsdale would save it, to be honest, if it had gone through, which it did. That was wrong, obviously. Who is watching. Like. But then there's plenty to Sa do is it Sanchez who scored for Birmingham? So well. Who's watching pace, him there? Lots of power, and the keeper just I have no idea. Great strike. At the end of the day, well, Birmingham have equalised, and now, that's Derek. a blow Plan for B, us. First shot on goal. We've only gone and scored it. Ivan Sanchez getting his first goal of the Championship playoffs. Don't know how many he scored so in the actual season. But Musse coming juncture. on through and Sam. I'm not sure if that was the swap, but Musse is quite good, so Even Steven, one it could be possible that we win this still. Of course, there is a second leg as well. This is the first of two. Johnson. Have I gone down to 7.4 then? I would pass it like that, if I were the answer. What do you want me to do here, though? Like, they're just making me... Yeah, okay, okay, gross. You just give it back to him. Make me lose the ball. I can't deal with this game right now. Halilovic. Why did I promise an episode today? Please close this down, lads. Mikel San Jose with it. Even if we do get an attack, they're still very defensive, so I'll get back and defend easy. Jake Clark, Salter. Here's Alan Halilovic. Still level here. No, close it down, don't let Coyote through. Or Sanyit. Or Halilovic. Just don't let any of them through. Possession nice. Given away. Good defence. Oh, I'll actually pass it to the left wing back and then you can throw it onto me, but okay. Alright, oh this could work. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? And thwarting his That that was a little late. That was yeah, but I I was thinking, should I go for the near post attempt? And I'm probably, I probably should have done. But, I mean, it's not all gone bad. It ricocheted a little bit. Merce got the header and it was saved by the Birmingham goalkeeper. But I don't know if I could have done a little bit better there in that situation. In the answer is I probably could have, but. Over it comes. Good luck, kid. Played away. Gross. Gross on the edge of the area now Christy. for Sheffield. Christy now. That's a great play. It. And he apparently. I can't, Gross. there's just too many people. Oh, surely. And a goal. Do you know who can? I think that's Ampadu, you know. It is, the one I've been criticising all season. Or a lot of the season anyway. He might have got it helped us get past Birmingham here. Well, I literally, here, the there's nothing you can do there. The box is so full. Ball, and Ampadu made a run. Is, no one expects Ampadu to make a run. He's a fucking centre-back. And to be honest, I expect Ampadu to score terrible. that. But that's a great finish from the centre-back. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy shit, sorry about that. Oh my god. Well, two one it is here. I have a bit of a cough. <laughs> two one now to the good. 
and Padua of all people putting us ahead. Scored more goals in the playoffs than he has in the actual season. And now with Shunic. Mikel San Jose. I'm personally had a great performance, but I've not Bella. had a bad one. It's been pretty much average. I've lost the ball a lot, but Mikel mainly San that's because they have about four players Orlando commit to me every time. It's kind of sucky, but we'll see what happens for the remaining Shunic. 20 minutes. Okay, well, they're going to score the players, I think. Never mind, Ramsdale, good save. I'm always, like, not really confident my goalkeeper, pretty much. I don't have to worry about it, but I'm not as confident my goalkeeper. If the defenders get beaten, then I um, panic. Pretty much. I just have no belief in my goalkeeper, to be honest. Gross to Paulinho. Played into the centre. Delivered of and cleared. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Tried to get there, but I got beaten to it. Ah, uh, could have been an exception, but have been a bit luckier there. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. They yell at me, otherwise. Christian Pedersen. Better going to try to build something here. Mikel Come on. Oh dear, is it's it onside? It is. Oh no, please. Ah, uh, great tackle, Just quick clear. That was Wasn't even a tackle, which is clear, but. Clark okay, as long as the ball's away, I don't really care what happens Mikel to the football. Halilovic. Put foot in lads, come on. Coyote with it. 12 minutes to hold on. Shunic. They're really trying for this equaliser and obviously I don't blame them. Still Playoff semi-final. The tackle needs to be made and it has been. Uh, why is it not locked, well, why is it not locked onto me there? Or why have I not locked onto it? Great save, Ramsdale. Well, this might be we are holding on, and this is just the first leg of two. I don't really know if I have the uh, belief change, that we can hold on. Leko coming on for Coyote. Unable to score today. And we might just be able to sneak out. A aggregate lead here. Let's so see if we'll leave a bit of It's going to be the Birmingham player, I guess, at first. I'm not going to run too far because it's something out of position. Clark Salter. And they have possession again. Um, I'm not going to pass this defence, am I? I know who is though. Oh, uh, nobody because the fucking pass didn't work. Of course, the block it. They always block my passes. It's fucking shite. Leko. Into Halilovic. Onto Sonjic. Oh, I'm really not feeling good about this one. Just don't do a penalty, lads. For the love of God. Oh, Moose, what the fuck are you doing, you stupid bastard? If we lose, it's not my fault, it's Moose's. Oh, they're going to equalise here, yeah. I hate my fucking strike partner. He's a fucking melon. Passes it to me, then runs to the other side. Like, what the fuck is that? This game is just destined well, for me to like, rage at it. And I knew as soon as like, Leko wasn't getting marked, well, that was too all. You keeper. know when they're going to score have because the defence is just all over I the fucking so. joint. You can't keep getting beat at the near post like that. It's actually ridiculous how predictable well, this game is on occasion. Yet, and that's why they've let him down a bit there. I'm fucking fuming. Why did my striker pass it to me to run the other direction? He's the right striker, I expect him to stay on the right, here. and he fucks Both off to the, like, somewhere else. An and we're going to draw. It'll be too all of the first leg, I'm pretty sure, unless we can pull something out of the bag. And a big chunk Which of course I would love to and everything, but they just converge on me, like six people minutes. at a time. Just attack me, it's fun. Now my centre midfielder's playing striker. Okay, we're not going to push for a winner. Oh, we are doing. 
Fucking cunts, where are you no going? I'm trying to run around you and you run into me, you Russian stupid Pedersen. fucking idiot. Oh my god. Jake Clark, Salter. Pedersen. This has been a fucking Clark, frustrating Salter. first leg. And they're just wasting time. They'll, they'll happily take the fucking draw. Bella. Apparently. Pedersen. Otherwise, I don't want to push her a winner, but. Sure. Really good interception. Yeah, it's a good inception. It's just a shame that fucking they've got three people on me ready and like tackle me, deploying themselves on me every time. I'm fucking fuming. That it was not my fault that they got the equaliser. That was fully on my strike partner there. I pass it to him, or he passes it to me, I should say. Then he runs off in a different direction. They've had like two shots two on target. I don't even know what he's doing. Leco saving Birmingham in this one. And Good keeping it in even, end, heading to the second leg. And Sam and Ampadu with our goals. Sanchez and Leco with the Birmingham goals. Johnson. Means it's not even close to being over. We still have it all to do in the next game. 100% shot accuracy with one shot on target. 12 short passes and one medium pass completed. Four failed short passes, one failed medium pass, three key passes. Lost a tackle, intercepted twice, out of position once, won the position once, lost it seven times, and won a header. Didn't have the greatest of games there, probably get some down ratings, yeah. Make sure your teammate's open to receive the uh, ball before passing, especially from close range. Well, basically he was, but he he went the wrong way, his eyes just didn't, I don't know. He's an idiot, pretty much. Well done creating those players your key passes, your shot passes are top notch today, and find a teammate up front before making that pass. Well, he was up front, but he just wasn't looking at the ball, I guess. I don't know what I don't know what he was doing. Whatever. We can win this next leg, hopefully, and go through to the final. I don't know. We'll see, though. Four shots to on target, 62% possession for Birmingham. Six shots forward target ourselves. Uh, getting 38% possession. Uh, not the greatest day for me, but Ampadu, man of the match for our side, 8.4. Defended well and got a goal. So, deserved man of the match there. I did shit, to be honest. I could have done better there as a team player, but it just didn't go well at all. He was man of the match the whole game was Ampadu. Man of the match for Birmingham was Leko with an 8. He obviously got the equaliser and will get the highest rating. Middlesbrough are goal up on Brentford as well, for anyone who wants to know how that is going. So it looks like Middlesbrough could be on their way to the playoff final. But there's absolutely no telling who's going to win between ourselves and Birmingham. What I do know is that we are going to be at Bramall Lane for this one. Save over, not lose any progress. As you can tell, I haven't touched my night career mode for a while. I kind of give up on it. But anyway, we have to, we have to, have to, have to get the win here. There is no, like, room for error. Let's look at the new stories before we go in. Leco scores equaliser against Sheffield United. In the Harfoch contest, Leco's equaliser proved to be the final key moment of the game as Sheffield United drew against Birmingham City. Insigne's Champions League player of the tournament. Bayern won the Champions League. Shocker. Who are they against? They're against Inter. Fair enough. Um... And team of the week, we've got Ampadu and Fernandez. We've also got Sanchez and Leco from the Birmingham side. And of course, it's only going to be the four teams that are in the playoffs that are going to get involved in the team of the week. So, Sheffield United desperate to go through. Sheffield United will be desperate to make the most of their two away goal advantage in the clash with Birmingham Say We don't have an away goal advantage, it's the playoffs. After the first leg finished 2 all, they'll have the crowd behind them at home, but it'll surely be a case of which team holds its nerve now. We have to hold our nerve here. This isn't even the final round, this is just the second leg, but we need... I need to play good here. I need to play out my bloody mind. But I need the service from my midfielders, really. I mean, get a lot of it. I think they're going more or less the same squad, apart from maybe a couple changes I could see. Uh, I think... Bella was a sub last time. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm not going to go into it because I just want to get this done, get this over and done with. 5 3 2 for us, 4 2 3 1 wide for Birmingham City. We need to win. We can't lose. There is no room for error at all. 
Not a single bit of room for error in this one. I don't care about this drill. I just want to get this done. Let me in the fucking... It won't let me start. Why won't, there we go. Uh, do you want to find whatever? Deep breath time. Hello everyone, always a joy to be here in the Yeah, I drink a juice actually, cut my throat's a bit dry, well this loads up. You won't be able to hear me move, you will be hearing me move because I make a lot of noise and might put some watch out, so. Go for my drink. I'm so glad I got a mini fridge, one of my best. Well, I say purchases, one of my best presents I've ever received. so little to split between the two sides. It's perfectly set up in this second leg. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. Right. This is must win for both teams. This is can't lose for both teams. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. Looks as though they're going with the belt and braces approach. Yeah, Whoever wins this will most likely be facing Middlesbrough. Unless Brentford pull it back, the ball, which they could, to be fair, it's definitely up for debate. But at the moment, Mills will have the advantage. To play two strikers up front. Here's the lineup for Birmingham City. Now there has oh, been some discussion I'd be lying about if I said I Some would argue it's on the negative side. What realistically should we? They've got a good squad. Yeah, We've got a good squad. Realistically, I think we should have the better squad, and we should be going through. But Birmingham have had a good run, and I don't think we'll see any changes I don't know if they'll give it up that easy. Sadler's Peaky Blinder. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it sounds interesting. I know Peaky Blinders is a TV show, but I don't think it's related. What I do know is, we have got 90 minutes to prove ourselves, to prove why we should be in the championship playoff final, and more importantly, prove why we should be in the Premier League. Or back in the Premier League, go straight back up. I'll tell you a fun fact Johnson. at the end of this, actually. Oh dear. I think I said it last episode as well, Jump but I'll tell you again. Well, not quite okay, the, see, the, the, the key with that is you have to pass to me. You don't pass to well, them. Then, oh dear, this is... Day. I'm already nervous. Here's Alan Halilovic. We need one defender to commit to one player. We don't need three well, to just like, commit to one real. player. We don't have to play like they are. I've fallen over. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? Oh no, you're going to pass to the left wing back? No. I mean, Lee, what is, what like, the plan? From him? Well, Pace, just look how fast he runs. Absolute nightmare for defenders to defend against when the player has that weapon. Can he take the chance? No, the I didn't yet. quite aim it perfectly. And I thought, I've, I got panicked at the defender. I should have taken a different type of shot there. Bella. That's an unfortunate one. We've had the chance though, I wouldn't Jayone. stay in position, I'm in position, you fucking melt. I thought I'd have time for you to lie to me today again, alright. This is important, this is real, this is as real as it gets, even though it's a video game. Real as it gets. This is the time where we have to strike. Make a name for ourselves and get into the Premier League, but they're going to strike first. Ramsdale, I thought he'd done, I thought his animation had fucked him up there, but he's done a very good they save. I thought the game had just fucked us over there, if I'm being completely honest. I think I'm offside. I'm not offside. I didn't know if he'd passed it in time, I panicked. There's a good slide as well from the defender. I wanted to get it across to Sam, but there's about 16 bodies from Birmingham in the way. Oh my god, this is high stakes. And this is even the final. If we lose in the semi-final, I'm mean, such an anti-climax to this fucking season. If we lose now, it would be a nice climax. If we lose in the final, it would just be a heartbreak. <laughs> and now the delivery. Delivery's there, but it's not quite followed to a player in red and white. Can he take this chance? I panicked. 
Suck my dick. I didn't panic. I lied. Uh -huh. I don't know how that's worked at all. And Sam looked fucking lost in that situation, but who cares, honestly? We strike first in the second leg of the well, championship playoff semi-finals. I had to knock really it back. And I don't know who knocked it through there. Really I think I might be gross or Fernandez, I'm not sure. I didn't see a certain number. Those are the usual suspects the though. Then they take full a weak foot finish as well. I thought I'd missed it if I'm being real with you. And a United chant around Bramall Lane. We strike first in this fixture. 3-2 up on aggregate now. We can't let this slip. I don't know how to stress it more than I already am doing. More than I already have done this episode. I'm going to have to take a quick drink. My foot's been blown. Holding the ball up and waiting for support. Mikel San Jose. I should have got some water actually. Probably would have been better, but I am a good enough substitute. And now with Shunic. Don't commit too many players to one guy. That's what fucks us. Bella. Oh, okay, it's blocked enough by Baldock to get to a Sheffield United player. Pascal Gross. I'm just always on tenterhooks. There's so much space on the left, and yet we're holding it in the right. <laughs> Christie. Fernandez on the ball. Johnson. Gross. Sorry, I'm concentrating now. I'm not talking. I apologise. If you can get it back to me, Sam, no, it's a, a possible situation. Look at the people he's gone in. And still looking for space. He's done really well there to get the ball into the middle of all. That is ridiculous how many players they just committed to in Sam. Almost just knocked over my drink. Jesus Christ. There's the goal again. Let's get a second, lads. Let's get a fucking second here. Good space. The corner Bad to cross. The and a struggle to get it away properly. Not over yet, though. And Sam, 2 0. Is it offside? It's not. It's not even offside. Oh, I thought for a second I saw arms go up from Birmingham players. And I thought, oh, shit. But it's actually onside and it's actually 2 0. We're actually possibly, I don't want to call it too early, we're possibly on our way to the playoff final. And at this level, quite honestly, a nightmare you there get for them. Oh my days, this is a dream coming true for Sheffield United. Are we going to get re-promoted? This isn't how I wanted to go for promotion. But if we can get it, then I won't even care. We're back in the Premier League. The aggregate lead is 4-2. 4-2 now to the Blades. Sheffield United putting themselves 2-0 up in this situation. It's going to be hard for Birmingham to get back into this one, I think. I think we're going to have the home... We've got the home advantage. And now I'm thinking on it, I think we did well to hold them to a draw last time. Oh, my days. That's the free well, score I could have scored and I still missed. I should have finessed. That was a great tackle well, and I caught it in possession. I maybe should have I probably should have passed it on to Sam actually, but we are in dominant mode right here. I love it. Corner. Once again. And firing it into the area. On oh, my head, and what a save from Ethereum, you heckin' kidding me. I met that perfectly. There was a guy on the line anyway who probably would have headed it off, but Ethridge wasn't taking any chances. And yes, I made sure I read the goalkeeper's name at the start just in case I could, I just so I could yell at him. <laughs> Played into the centre of the box. Scored in Sam, I think. I don't even know. I don't really know what direction I was going. I've had five attempts already. I'm not giving a fuck. I'm having as many chances as I can get. In order to fire us up to the Premier League. I think I'm going to have a lot of chances now. Just wait till the final. I'm going to try and literally shoot everything I get, more or less. And now with Shunic. 
within reason, obviously. I'm not just going to shoot from about 50 yards from the halfway line and say, oh, that's going in. Shielding the ball superbly. This could be Birmingham's opportunity to get back into this match for half time, and I'm quite frankly a little concerned. Good tackle, but it's not gone. Not gone by any means. Alilovic could get through here. Oh, nice read by Baldock. Oh, okay. Um, Alright. Uh, right, um, Sam, fancy pack. Okay. All right. I mean, I don't know if it's Sam's pass would have worked to get to me, but it would have been nice to see. I should have probably called for it. That's my bad, I guess. But it doesn't really matter at the moment. We've got a two-goal cushion. I'm in position, even though it's telling me I'm not. I'm literally there. You can see me, so I don't even know like what's telling me, to be honest. Birmingham having a bit of a mare. I think they're, they're cracking under the pressure. I pressed A, so that's why it's gone... To their player, and here? I've been tackled, but I did press A. And he takes got it tackled, away. so I don't really know what's going on now. And Sam's giving it back to me for whatever reason. It's worked, kind of. A bit scuffed, but I'm offside now, run. so yeah, that was a, that was <laughs> just really scuffed. I don't know. It's fine. Three, three minutes of added minutes. time at the end of this first half. Harley Dean. Dean. Christian Pedersen. Pedersen. Maybe we can chill a little bit, but Dean. not enough. Like if they score, we're gonna have to go back into like try hard mode. Holland but I think I can relax a little bit now. If they get a goal before half time, it changes the Mikkel complexion Sanjose of the game. But Lidditch. the ref isn't gonna give them enough time because they're fucking about with the possession. Boodle to the good. Theo Johnson and then Sam with the finishes. I've had multiple opportunities. I could have had two, maybe even a hat trick if I any skill level beyond zero but unfortunately that's not a thing that I possess so we've reached 45 minutes we're forward to up an aggregate and it's one all on aggregate between Middlesbrough and Brentford so it really could be either team who come up against I'll count how many times you're out of position this season. If you can't play the role you're given, you'll be warming the bench. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to put me on the bench. Oh, I'm so fucking scared. You can fuck off. I'm carrying your bloody shit team. Outstanding skills, scoring without one touch. Crisp, accurate short passes helped us retain possession. You found some good basic side offers in penalty area and got yourself accurately. Six shots, six on target, 46% possession for ourselves. One shot, one on target, 54% possession for Birmingham. I've got a bit of a tickle in my throat, so give me a second. Right, second half. Let's wrap this up and put ourselves into the final. So far, and now the second half is underway. Except for a miracle comeback Mikel for Birmingham, I don't see how the AOA team are going to get back into this. But again, strange things have happened. For that final pass. I've been 3 0 down and 1 4 3 before in a career mode game, so I won't quite put it past Birmingham again. to bring it back a wee bit. I want to go to Sam there, but I'm not going to be able to get the ball off to him. Play it there instead, play it back. And can they make it 3 0. Oh, I've just. That's not how I shot it. That isn't how I shot it at all. Well, it is, obviously, because that's how the shot came off, but it wasn't how I intended the shot to go. I think you get what I'm meaning. All that can't be done here. He has been done. We can't have them score a goal. It really does throw the game into disarray if that occurs. Nice defence again. Oh, okay, maybe not the pa Okay, that's fine then. A bit scrappy there because I don't know why we passed the goalkeeper, but sure, it works, I guess. Balls to me. They're not very defensive, are they? That's not who I was aiming for, but sure. Not fair. I suppose they need to attack more, they need the goals. I didn't want that to go to Insam. I was looking out right towards Baldock and it just locked onto Insam instead. It's weird that, but at least, it, at least it made it to someone on my team. Christian Pedersen. And it's with Dean. Mikel San Jose. Coyote with it. Plan here. 
plans to defend, hopefully, but I don't know how we're going to do it. it They're really going a bit more attacking. But it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And 30 minutes. That's going to hit the defender. That's a good run from the defender and a good read. Oh no! I don't want to fuck this up. I know we're 2 0 to the, the good. Is offside Coyote's here. offside there, but I'm still not incredibly like ready for this emotionally. Time for a change then. Substitution, Paulinho coming on for Gross. Um, number 23 looked lost. I didn't read the Birmingham one, I apologise. I was just looking at how number 23 looks fucking lost. Paulinho. Jean-Pierre and Sam. That's a great layoff. That should be 3-0. It is 3-0. And Sheffield United are going to the championship playoff final. Paulinho comes immediately on and puts it away. And it's the third 14 that quite simply deserve well, it in this one. We have absolutely decimated chances. Birmingham with chances and we've put it away. Not personally, I can't see the score so I can go for shit. But we managed to assist Paulinho and he finished it off sublimely. The vendor tried to come well, in, but I told him to shoot and he did. He's like, alright. Because if I didn't tell him to shoot it, I don't know if he would have done. The goal for Paulinho in the championship playoffs and we will be facing either Middlesbrough or Brentford. So that is to be change, determined. Eh? But what I know is one of those teams in that playoff final will be Sheffield United. The aggregate lead they have stands at five goals to two. If I was worried before, I'm not and worried anymore. I am perfectly chill. I am perfectly relaxed now. This is just a matter of time now. We're just running down the oh, clock. And can we get a fourth here? Oh my god, the keeper just saves everything that I do. This is ridiculous. The keeper's a legend when it comes to me. I mean, yeah, okay. the edge of the opposing attack. <laughs> I've had so many opportunities and I haven't scored them. Alilovic. This is probably the most opportunities the I've had in a Jose. career mode match, in a player career mode match Alan since Alan I started Alilovic. the series. Maybe not, but since at least I joined Sheffield United. San Jose with it. Because so it's, I've had about seven or eight opportunities and I've scored one and I can't get past the keeper. Johnson. Oh, that's an interesting that's pass. not enough power on it. I'm sorry, that was awful. That was poopy. Possession lost, intercepted. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Mm. I, pressed, I pressed A there, I think, actually. I have to pass it on. I didn't think I uh, held the ball there. But it's all right. I'd be mad if I wasn't happy. Because Which makes a lot of sense, really, because usually you're mad if you're not happy. But they need to really attack now if they're going to pull everything back. There's still room for a comeback. But I don't believe that FIFA would hate me that much. Ivan Sanchez. Mikel San Jose. You hear the door, uh, it's my dad just going out. Excuse me. Johnson. Yeah, just get a fucking run on. Oh, That's a great here. pass, though, to be fair. Finish it yourself, mate. Finish it yourself. <laughs> I think that counts as an assist, but I'm not 100% on the stitch. I, didn't think, I don't know if he said assist well, in the top replay. right, but Super look how much... I think, is that Osborne or how much room he was in? I thought he'd done a heavy touch there and done, fucked the, the shot, but no. We are running roughshod. And he's punished. That's quite remarkable. What is that animation, though, from Etheridge? That's unfortunate. If I had an online game and I had that, Mikey would do that animation. I'd literally think I'd throw my controller through the window or out the window. Ben Osborne gets in on the act as well. We've had two scorers who didn't score the th in the whole season, the but they've scored in the championship playoffs so far. Christie covered off. I think that's Freeman. Mainly because I don't recognise him. That's coming on. We have um, definitely booked our place in the Alilovic. Championship Playoff Final. Birmingham will have to go Only at it again next season. Bless them. Here. He 
I don't like even if they score now. I don't like. I didn't see them coming back after two 0 to be honest. But I was concerned because it was only two goal cushion, and there's still plenty of time at that point. But now there's no doubt in my mind. <laughs> I've not had the best of games, but I've got a turn because I've set up a couple. I've scored my own one. In terms of passing, On it's not bed. been the one really. <laughs> But honestly, I'm happy we got through part, phase one of the playoffs, I guess. Part one of the playoffs. He's foiled them on his own. And then up next, in the same episode, I'm not going to separate the episodes, it'll be the same Jean episode. Playoff final. Johnson. Osborne. And oh boy, will that be an on interesting one. And how mad will I be if I don't fucking qualify for the Premier League now? Oh, big opportunity. You just... Right, and Sam, realistically there, you just the pass situation. it off to me and don't be a prick. But, to be honest, I don't blame you for not passing it off. Because I can't score past this count for days. It's going to be everyone who scores more and more strikers in the second half. Midfielder scored, and then a left wing back scored. So, as York coming up for Sam, like it's going to matter. And Sanchez coming off for Crowley. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be really, really real with you. I Played really hope to win the, the second leg. And Drawing in the back of my mind, I knew we'd do it. That's a hell of a shot oh, as well, by the way. But, um, I didn't think we'd do it this emphatically. Didn't think it'd be 4-0. I didn't think we would dominate. But, do you know what? It's fine. And if we take this forward into the, the final, area. I've just well, missed the header again. Bro, I stink. How many opportunities have I had? I've only scored once. If those shot accuracy objectives do carry over, then I've completely fucked them. Alright, though. I don't really care about objectives at this point. I just care about firing us up to the Prem. Whether we do it or not is a different matter entirely, but we can give it the old Fernandes. college try, and we are giving it the old college try. We're giving it such a college try that we've gone to university. And here is Paulinho. Luke Freeman. Osborne. Crossing possibilities. Oh, no, thing. Yeah, there's no point in trying to do anything else. We progress. One more step before the Premier League, but it's going to be the biggest step of our season. It's going to be the toughest step of our season. San Jose has played his last game. Birmingham don't play anymore now, and he was going to retire anyway. Eight attempts, bro. No wonder I'm a little annoyed at myself. How have I not scored more than that? The fact that I've had eight opportunities and only scored once is kind of offensive. But Theo Johnson and Sam... Paulinho and Osborne puts past Birmingham City and puts one step closer. Now, question is Middlesbrough or Brentford? One goal, seven shots on target, one shot off target, 73% in passing. We had one assist, 12 short passes, two medium passes, three failed short passes, and two medium passes, one key pass, one tackle. Two out of positions, won the position once but lost it way too many times. I'm going to get yelled at by my manager and won all my headers that I was going for. I lost how many times you have position this season. If you can't play the role you're giving you before on the bench, yeah, please put me on the bench, I beg. Make sure your teammate is open to receive the ball before passing, especially from close range. Excellent foresight in finding teammates in open space and you bagged yourself a great assist. 13 shots with 12 on target, 46% possession. For ourselves, we dominated, and I didn't think we'd be that good, but we, um, yeah, we were like, we are going through, I don't give a shit, and we just decided, we'll smash them. Uh, two shots, one on target, 54% possession from Birmingham, they are consigned to another season in the championship. 10 rating for myself, someone else might have a 10 rating as well, and Sam with a 9.6 actually, I didn't think, I thought he might get 10. Uh, 8.4 for Paulinho, and an 8 for Osborne, everyone else playing well enough to get us the job done. As for Birmingham, if you can pick out a man of the match, that's incredible, but I can pick out one, and it's fucking Etheridge, and I just remembered why he's the man of the match, because he saved every single one of my shots, bar one. Well, bar two, actually, the one that went off target, enough to save, but he was insane. 
Even though they lost 4-0, he <laughs> still did really well. So fair play to him, 8.6 for him. He was the man of the match for Birmingham. And um, I wasn't the man of the match overall, though. That was me. Even though the manager hates me for whatever reason. And Brentford will be the team that we face in the playoff final. Oh boy. This is the biggest game of the season. Bar absolutely none. This is the game of my career, actually. The biggest game of my career. My young career, I should say, as well. Um, save over before we lose any progress. I'm not losing that 4 0 win. Just in case the game decides to mess up. Um, but yeah. We're in the Championship Player Finals. What was the aggregate score on the other one in the end? I think it was two. Not two. Three. Three two? My brain isn't on. Yeah, three two to Brentford. They just got through with a big win there. But we the most our way through it, and this is where we're at. Brentford, the Bees versus Sheffield United, the Blades. Read new stories before we go in. Osborne goal seals Birmingham defeat. Osborne strike helps team grab a 4 0 win against Birmingham City. Birmingham City beaten 4 0 by Sheffield United. Sheffield United beat Birmingham City 4 0. I'm delighted, said Chris Wilder. The boys showed great ability and took their chances when they came. Well, I, I don't know if I did really, but the rest of the team did. I had about seven shots on target, scored once. Frustration after only drawing in the first leg of the semi final against Birmingham State was all the motivation Sheffield United needed to overcome their opponents in the reverse fixture. They were one step closer to realising their trophy ambitions after winning 6 2 on aggregate. I know you do win a trophy for winning the playoffs, but more importantly, one step closer to the Premier League. So let's go to Wembley and let's get this wrapped up. And for once, I'm actually going to read the lineups. Brentford got Raya in goal, Bernardo and Dasgard as the fullbacks, Rakic and Metham as the centre backs, Norgard as the CDM, Jensen and De Silva as the centre mids, Ben Rama left mid, or left wing, I should say, and Buemo right wing, Dervisoglu, or Dervisoglu, I don't even pronounce that, I apologise. He is a striker. As for Sheffield United, we've got Ramsdale in goal, Osborne and Baldock as the wing backs. Ampadu, Robinson, Hack as the centre backs. Fernandez, Paulinho, and Gross as the midfield three. And then Theo Johnson and Jean Pierre and Sam leading the attacking line. We go into Wembley into our biggest game so far in his career mode. If we like fought the final hurdle, I'm very upset. But it'll just give me more motivation to get to the Premier League next time around. I think unless there's an absolutely mind-boggling offer that I can't turn down, I'll be doing another season with Sheffield United. Like I said, if Man United come calling at any point, I will not hesitate to accept. I said the same thing for Celtic, but I think I'm past Celtic level now. I can't hit a shot on target. Luckily, this is in Sam. And not Theo Johnson. You know what, we'll just... There we go. Make sure we score one. Let's go Wembley time. One man, the focus of attention. In fantastic form and leading the competition in goals. Stay with us Ben Rama TV. getting two for Brentford in their 3 to aggregate win. He's the one to watch, definitely. And hello to you from the home of football here in London, Wembley Stadium. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. Well, here we are. The entire season comes down to... Will we get disappointment or will we get jubilation? 6-2 on aggregate. We absolutely smashed up Birmingham in the second leg there. But will it be enough? And they take on Will we be able to bring that form, I should say, well, you, well, into the final the here against the Brentford? Team they've team got a strong squad. The they've got a really good team. Who I think we beat them once in the league. I think they beat us once off of memory. Or we drew. I'm not 100%. The Obviously, there's the three options. Really but I just can't remember our form against Brentford, to be honest. Osborne captaining the side. 
He'll be lifting the trophy should we win this match. Of course, a trophy is not the biggest deal. We'll get a trophy, which is good. But the prestige of once again being a Premier League team is so much more. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Brentford. Well, Brentford no are going all fucking out. Pony on the bench. Play, surprisingly, I'm surprised they're not play, putting him on. But he could be a super fun problem if they need him. Lee, and Dervish Oglu could be today? a very yeah, good player. Absolutely, Derek. If you're really good at something, then why not? They're very good at this. All the team members have bought into this style of play. One player slacks off and it all falls apart. Relax and hope for their best. And here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. The wing backs are going to be crucial. If I said the last setup, game was can't lose, yeah, I didn't it really wasn't. Like but it, this is like definitely can't lose with a cherry on top. The wing backs exposed like this in this formation. Wembley Stadium really hosting a championship side. playoff final. Brentford versus Sheffield United. The for the two forwards up front. Third versus, I think it was sixth in the end for Brentford. We'll take a look at all the tables and stuff after this match. Win or loss. We'll do an overview of the season. Dalsgaard. Da Silva. And that will no be the end of season two. So it's Dervisholu, alright. Moving into the advanced position. Great blocking, great blocking. Well, Pass that straight off, I don't want to get marked down. As a dangerous opponent, but what should we expect to see from him in this ben game? Rama, player to watch. In his last game, he'll certainly be a threat. Can he get another two goals or even three in this game? Able to deal with the oh, that's a great block from the defender. I thought I'd got it to the player. Johnson. But it can't get through. Cross or the pass I should say onto Fernandez. I had to think a second there was number eight. Thought it was on, but it's blocked by a defender, probably about a foot tall in the middle east. With Methan. Methan's quite tall. Get some space. Get off me. Can't move. He's driven in the corner. That's all they can come to. hasn't really gone in our favour at all there. Henrik Dalsgaard. Try to slow down a possible counter-attack, but I'm not that good. <laughs> Josh da Silva. Speaking of possible counter-attacks. Great defence once Did again the by the lads. I've got to give them full credit for how they've been playing in these playoffs. And Sam. Sam has got the ball there. I don't even know. It wasn't in for him in the first place, but I'm glad it got to him. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Jensen. It's be a grind of a game. Side I don't know if it's going to be goal filled or defence filled. Really, I don't know. I don't know really what to tell you to expect. Da Silva. What I will tell you is I'm going to be very fucking disappointed if we don't pull this off. Dangerous looking attack. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. I can't. I took a. I took such a heavy touch there. I didn't mean to. Well, I did. I meant to take a touch inside there, but I don't know why it did it so stupidly. I thought I could flummox the defender, get around him, and then put the shot in near post. But for some reason, it did such a stupid opportunity there. And Wemo now on the counter for Brentford. Oh my God! I can't be bottling chances. I'm not going to get a lot of them. Keeping the ball moving. Bell's guard. Just holding the ball here. I've had some options for Brentford and now it's Norgard into Dervishoglu. Or Dervishoglu. Where it blocks once again. Ampadu is proving to be a little legend to be honest. Hated him at first but now he's proving to be a fucking bit of a king. Fruitful looking attack. Come again. They're so defensive as well. Just doesn't help proceedings. Ah, oh, I tried to put a little bit of space there. I don't really know what I meant to do there. Oh, like, there's just so many of them. <laughs> Ref. Fuck, all right. <laughs> Never mind then. They do like to press Great tackle. They can. Oh, a and Sam. 1-0 Sheffield United. Well, the offside flag 
Are you, you can't no, do this to me here. Well, you cannot do this to me. He is offside, but I just... Oh, you can't do that to me. <laughs> Fucking genuinely thought we had the lead here at Wembley. Dervisholu. Target with the pass, and he's got it. But he keeps the ball. Halil Dervisholu. I can't, I can't, I can't be arsed. Don't let him through. You let him through. Hack, I don't know what you're doing there, mate. But thank you, Ramsdale. Big save. An easy save, granted. But it was a save that had to be pulled off, and it's a corner now for the bees. We got a goal disallowed for offside. I'm very upset. It is offside, the goal in, in question, but I mean, could he not just let us have it? And Buemo deliver the ball. Played into the centre of the box. Header is oh, just over the top, to or just wide. Either way, it's off target. It wasn't a million miles away though. Ramsdale attempted a save, but. Luckily, there wasn't anything to save. Still nil-nil in the championship playoff final. There is definitely going to be a breakthrough goal at some point. There has to be. Jack Robinson. If it doesn't happen in normal time, it'll go to extra time. And I swear to fuck, if it goes That's to penalties, I'm going to be upset. I'm not having my playoff final decided on penalties. Oh, that yeah, was meant for Sam, actually, that passed that did earlier, but he didn't run to it, so... I guess he didn't want it, I suppose. <laughs> Can he put it away? There we go, lads. Simple as. Simple fucking as. There was literally no need for you to fuck around with the ball in the midfield, passing it around. Just threw ball it to me when I got the space. 1 0. I told you there would be a breakthrough goal. Theo Johnson. 1 0. Sheffield United. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. We strike first in the playoff final. Ben Rama. We didn't travel 200 miles down to London to get beaten. Jensen. Jensen. Travelled 200 miles to London to get back into the Premier League. Christian and I'll be damned Nurgard. if it doesn't happen. Great defence again from the lads. I've got to give him full credit Johnson. here. Well, so we're we'll talking to Sam. It's not gonna. He's not around to it for whatever reason. I don't like. Know why he didn't? But Fernandes. he didn't. It's interesting. Well, potential danger. Yeah, Johnson. He's gone and done it again. He's only gonna fucking done it again. The worm. Theo Johnson bringing out the worm. I don't want to say it too soon again. I really don't. Well, it seemed like just a matter of time before they We are on our way back. I'm going to say anyway, I don't give a fuck. We're on our way back damage. to the Premier League. Well, the goal again, albeit from and a Sheffield different United are anyway. I wasn't with them when they went down. I was at Bradford City first season. But I've joined Sheffield United and I may have clutched up for them. It would have been so much easier getting automatic promotion. But nothing in, nothing in any of my career modes is ever the easy route. We have to go the difficult route. We have to make it as difficult for ourselves as physically possible. But we're turning a lot. And I, for one, am feeling a lot more confident, not just in myself, but in this team, to hold on. The defence, I've done really well. The passing has been exquisite. And Theo Johnson has just been on another level. Just this game so far. Double in the first half. And he was in the right place to intercept. Quite amazing, to be honest. And, the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes and it could be three. It honestly, genuinely could be three. Their their defence is in disarray. Just take the shot, lads. Just take the shot. Well, oh, it's a great save. Was I was going to have to pass across well, the box and go for my hat trick, but I might as well take the shot in that situation. And unfortunately, the goalkeeper's got an outstretched leg to it. Half time, half -time though, game. and we are two goals to the good in the playoff final. We're 45 minutes from possibly becoming a Premier League team once again. 
Theo Johnson, two quick fire goals. The first one, that through ball, whoever played that through ball, that was brilliant. And I latched onto it superbly. That second goal there, I ran around, did what I wanted to do beforehand. Like when I did the heavy touch earlier, like I made the touch too heavy. I made sure I didn't make the touch too heavy on that occasion. And it went perfectly. Two shots, one on target, 61% possession for Brentford. They need to turn some of that possession into chances if they're to get back into this playoff final. But we've had six shots, six on target, 39% possession. Two goals as well. Other strikers can learn from you when it comes to shot accuracy. Good work, great vision with those through ball passes. Great short passing, well done keeping control of the ball. A nice passing technique, well done on those side passes. Match facts, we've already read them. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm in the moment. We'll head on to the second half. The two teams have switched right, around. 45 minutes to go. I think we have the ball. Will we have Sheffield Jack United Robinson. returning to the Premier League? First time of asking. Not if the defence is going like that. Ethan Ampadu. Well, he's given us away. Okay. Rose. We go again. Jean Pierre and Sam. Looking confident with the ball at his feet, and it might be. Can you fucking blame me for looking confident? It's a hat trick in the playoff final. Are you kidding me? This is legendary difficulty as well. I play on world class when I'm playing as a whole team, but I'm doing this on legendary mainly because I'm playing as one player, and I'm still able to get past all of the defence, arc it in over the goalkeeper, get a hat trick in a playoff final. Well, Manchester United don't come in for me now. I'll be asking a lot of questions as a recruitment process. Delighted. Talk about turning up when you needed the most. I thought it'd be a close Three encounter with just one goal separating the teams. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> did I did I just forget that Theo Johnson has so much ability? I guess I did because he's gone and scored a hat trick. And it's a hell of a mountain to climb for Brentford if they're Debbie to get back Shalou. into this game. And I'm going to be 100% honest. This Scott game has gone Scott. like a dream. And moving the ball nicely. If you told me Christian beforehand Nurgard. that was scoring a hat-trick in the playoff final, I would have said, nah, probably not. It'll be a very close encounter. Sir. And then maybe a goal back here for Brentford. I'll talk in a second. I'll wait till this attack is over. I'll continue my thought. Attack. Well, a Great slide tackle and interception. But as I was saying, if you told me I would score a hat trick in the playoff final, I would have called you a liar. But their defence is all over the joint. An it pass. could be another one. Is it going to be? It we turn provider, Such and a it's a bloody massacre of Brentford. I wanted to score it again myself, but. You'd sometimes got to just be the team player in that situation. And then Sam was in such good space. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. But then we have gone from, there. from possibly He's grinding so this game well. out lots of pace, lots of power, and to absolutely just, just fucking off into Great the distance. Strike. We've still got half an hour to play as well. There could be more goals to come. This is ridiculous. Hat trick hero turning provider there, and Jean Pierre and Sam add another goal to this already well, ridiculous scoreline. And then Sam has scored in every playoff match. He scored in the first leg, he scored in the second leg, and now he scored in the final. Now, Brentford, I don't know what the answer is for you here, lads, to be honest. They're too attacking. Their defence have gone has gone to Josh shit. I could have taken it on myself and scored. Because of how much space it yes, left sir. me. But a turn provider. And that's because I wanted to. Christian I could have Nurgan. easily scored it, but providing is just as good. Up for them. And speaking of providing, we could be provided with a goal here from Brentford, not that it will mean much now. A foul That's on the foul. edge of the area, given away. It's a very kick. good position for a free kick as well. If we weren't already in the Premier League, I would be concerned.
Brentford decided to mount themselves. It'll be the best for his free well, kick. Derek Sholu coming off for up. Force. And, now both and Fernandez coming off for Freeman. Benches. Ben Rama to stand over it. Best choice on it, to be honest. And Buemo might actually take it. I don't know. It's Ben Rama. To lay it off to Norgard. Absolutely awful. But it's still not over yet. Great save from Ramsdale to preserve the clean sheet. Well, threat over for now. George Baldock. Oh, I didn't realise there was a... Ah, oh, shit. I didn't that's my bad. Yep. yep. That wasn't a great call to pass. I didn't realise they were all back again. I thought I still had some... I thought it was just one guy yes, back and I could just run through and score again. My well, brain wasn't on. It. I apologise there. The circuits are fucking come loose. Paulinho. Johnson. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Excellent ball over the oh, top. Oh, one. Oh, no. Oh, Wait, what? Goals. No, <laughs> How's that gone in then? <laughs> it's 5-0 in the playoff. <laughs> championship playoff final. Literally, we've made Brentford look like a bunch of mugs. Well, here's the replay and that passing and movement is... I wonder how it would have gone if we'd gone against Middlesbrough. That's a wicked deflection. Gave the and that's how Pascal Gross has got his championship pass. player final goal, but who cares, as long as it's in the net. Probably still would have gone around the same area anyway, I think the keeper should have well, been ready for it. Chris Wilde is having a ball. The Brentford manager will be so upset. His team have worked so hard to make it into playoffs. So hard to get past Middlesbrough and make it into the playoff final. And then go 5-0 down. Sam, as you saw there, making way for well, Moussa. And we've got 19 minutes left. As if the time really matters. If anything, as if anything really matters now. We are Premier League once again. Sheffield United have returned to the Premier League for the first time of asking. And a fun fact, I'll say it now. I was going to say it at the end of the game. But I'll say it now because I think we've got it wrapped up. The three teams that got relegated from the Premier League have gone straight back up. Brighton relegated from the Premier League. They've won the title. Aston Villa relegated from the Premier League. They came second, got automatic promotion. And we got relegated as well last season. Obviously, I wasn't here last season, but Sheffield United got relegated. And they're going straight back up via the playoffs. be interesting to see in the higher leagues Coming and in the other leagues how teams have done. I'll be interested to see if Bradford have held on to their League One status as well, to be honest. Pascal Gross. Crossing possibilities. Great pass in. And it's six. Oh, it's fucking six. It's not six. It's offside, unfortunately, for Moussa. Well, Technically, if we're going by that, it yeah, should be seven. There, and Sam was offside in the first half. And uh, Moussa, marginal. You could just give him that, to be honest. The game's over. Just give him the goal. I don't know why it has to be so marginal. Now they're unfortunate. Going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Oh, it goes. Substitution for Brentford. I didn't see who it was. We'll see in the top corner on the scoreboard. Who went on and who went off. Metham coming off for Sorensen. I don't think a new defender is exactly what you need, lads. I don't know if Sorensen is a defender, but... Will there be a goal in this for Brentford? You've got to... You've got to hope for your... If you're a Brentford fan, you've got to hope that there's going to be a goal for your team. You don't want to get whitewashed completely. You want to have... You want to say, like... Or show you've had some impact on the match. But, um... To be fair, it hasn't been seen yet. Ball up. Middle, Johnson. Oh, what a save. That could have been number four for your boy. And number six for your team. Some good header, good placement, but the keeper got down well to it. In a matter of moments, we'll be celebrating. Taking Sheffield United back to the Premier League. Bernardo coming off for Valencia. Paulinho coming off for Christie. Absolutely mind-boggling how we've just 
pouring through. Not, Bur not just Birmingham, but Brentford as well. It actually amazes me. I don't know how we suddenly just decided to be good now. Nine goals in the past two games. Force could be straight through here. There's no keeper running out to him. Will it be a chance? Defence are unreal today. The defence have been playing incredible. Whenever Brentford have had a, a sniff of a chance, they've been immediately closed down without fail. It's brilliant. And again, they're ready. Even though we messed up there, they're ready to just hold on to the ball. Hack now with the ball. We've got five minutes of added time as if they're needed. Following the five minutes of added time, of course, will be... The trophy presentation to Sheffield United. That's an awful pass. From, um, I think it was gross there. I'm not sure. But it was an awful run for me as well. If I kept running, yeah, I probably would have got there. But I'm kind of chilling now. Just like the entire team. There's not been... It was a contest up until I scored. And then it kind of just devolved into a, um, how many goals can Sheffield United score. And the answer is five. Jensen. Brentford haven't had an answer and we are moments away from celebrating. Here we go. Sheffield United. Back in the Premier League. Keo yeah, Johnson hat trick. Jean Pierre and Sam the contributing and Pascal Gross finishing the job. Like these. these moments where you pick trophies up and win medals. Absolutely brilliant for this group of players. Yeah, you can see what it means to this Insanity. tight Insanity. Real solidarity. It amazes me how we've been up and down all season in terms of form. And well, right when I needed my team to perform, the they do. That little medal that goes round your neck. I know Ben Osborne will be holding up the trophy, but I think I was a big catalyst in that final there. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. We've gone from winning League Two to being promoted to the Premier League. Here we go. Yeah, it's been a long old road to get to this point. They're going to celebrate now and certainly celebrate. What a way to end night, season two of Theo Johnson's the professional career. A cup competition, but my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth, and now they savour the moment. I don't know necessarily if it's really a one-man team kind really of thing, special. but I definitely contributed a lot to helping this happen. Well, it's giving something back. These fans have travelled all over the place. And it's only a playoff trophy. But that playoff trophy the means that we will be back in the, the top tier of football next season. Well, it's not going to be an easy ride. Be. And I might not even be here if Manchester United come knocking. But this journey, this season. I know Bradford, uh, I won the league. But I feel like this journey has been more fun with Sheffield United. Well, you know exactly where I'd be sitting in that photo. Don't you, Derek? I've definitely preferred the second season over the first season. The first season was too easy. This season has um, been a bit more of a challenge, but still just as rewarding at the end of the day. Would have been nice if we could have won the league or had automatic promotion, but you can't always get what you want. Three goals, five shots on target, one assist, 14 short passes completed, six medium passes completed, failed three short, two medium, two key passes. One out of position, seven ball possession thing lost, who cares? Um, if he yells at me for losing the ball seven times after I've just carried his band team to the Premier League, there'd be, the option, there'd be, a, there'd be an argument. And uh, one, both headers we were involved in. Others could learn, other strikers could learn from you when it comes to shot accuracy, good work. That's 25 assists this season, consider me impressed. Well done, bag in your third hat trick of the season. And you must secure short passes. Fuck off. I'm, I'm celebrating. I don't care about your feedback apart from the good parts. Three shots, two on target for Brentford with 57% possession. We had 11 shots, 10 on target with 43% possession. Deserved and delivered. 10 rating for your boy once again. 8.4 for Sam, 8.2 for Paulinho. I just completely missed it. Pascal Gross got 9.4. Big game from him as well. For Brentford, I don't know if there's a standout. I guess 
Well, I mean, there isn't. But the highest rated player is a 7.2, and that's force in the striker area. It just... What happened there was they panicked, went into an attacking formation, and they had three at the back, which made it even easier to score some more goals. So... Premier League next season, guys? <laughs> Right, so it's just about uh, you, little... I didn't go there. It's just about finishing off the season now. Simulating to the end. I'm not going to go and request a transfer, but if someone comes in for me, and it's Manchester United, we may not be able to decline it. We're in June already. I'm not going to do any more training for the rest of the season, I don't think. My pro, wait, what, we've got a message. Place an international duty. Are we not picked yet? It's fine. It's fine. You know what? I'm not. I'm not offended. I should have gone for a uh, bigger. I can't really pick a different country because the whole point of the Ajaz is he's from Nigeria. But All right, we're gonna stop it here just in case I go too far. We're gonna save over just in case I lose progress. And then we'll do a wee recap. I'm not going to go through all of the leagues like I did to the Bradford City career, but we're going to go through the big leagues and um, the new stories as well. So, Gross's goal seals Brentford defeat. Gross's strike helps his team grab a 5 0 win against Brentford and got us promoted. Theo Johnson takes top scorer award. That was for the league, but I think I also got the highest scorer award in the playoffs as well. Theo Johnson scored three of Sheffield United's goals against Brentford to claim the match ball. And the Championship playoffs player of the tournament has been announced is Sheffield United's Theo Johnson. We're, we're on a mad one. Uh, oh, it's World Cup 2022. No wonder. I'm guessing Nigeria didn't qualify. But I'll never know because I didn't get to play in the qualifiers. Although I suppose it wasn't good enough at that point. Maybe I'll play the qualifiers for an African Cup of Nations coming up down the line. Do one more training, and then we will take a look at the overview of the season. So obviously we're going to go first with our league. I read this out at the end of the last episode, but I'll do it again just in case anyone missed it. I've clicked on it, so we just need to wait until it actually decides to load. There we go. So Brighton came top with a colossal 107 points, winning the championship, of course. Cool difference of 69, lol. Have a little giggle at that. Go on, you know you want to. Aston Villa are um, in second place with 103 points. Sheffield United in third. Arts ourselves, of course, 96 points and playoff winners. So the top three will actually go up to the championship. And it's the three that got relegated to the previous season, like I said. So it's an interesting one, that. Middlesbrough in fourth with 92 points. Got knocked out by Brentford in the playoff semi-finals. Brentford... So close to getting to Premier League football, but they came fifth in the actual league with 82 points, decimated in the, pro uh, the playoff final by ourselves just there. And Birmingham City in the playoffs as well, 81 points, sixth place for them. That is where they finish, and they will have another season in the Championship after we got past them quite easily after the second leg. Anyway, we'll continue reading down now. Bournemouth in seventh place with 72 points, Millwall in eighth with 67 points. Norwich in ninth for 66 points, uh, but they're above Derby on goal difference by two goals. Derby are in 10th with 66 points, Preston are in 11th for 65 points, and rounding out the top half of the championship table are Nottingham Forest with 61 points. 13th are Reading with 60 points, 14th are our rivals, our local rivals, who we won't be playing again because we're in a league above them, so unless we get them in the cup, there won't be no Steel City Derby, which is kind of upsetting. But honestly, I'd rather get to the Premier League. 14th place, so for Sheffield Wednesday with 59 points. Stoke City in 15th place with 58 points. Watford in 16th place. Play, 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 sir. I don't have a lisp. Sorry, apologise for that. Uh, 57 points. Cardiff uh, fall way back there um, behind Watford. 17th place with 48 points. Huddersfield in 18th with 48 points. Sunderland in 19th with 47 points. And Barnsley... 
in 28th with 45 points. Now, I did this last episode, so if you watched the last episode, you'd know this, but it's Oxford, Rotherham, Charlton and Wickham who were all going to possibly get relegated. There was three out of four of those teams that were going to get relegated, and I know who survived because I did the last episode, and it was Wickham Wanderers who keep their place in the championship, but just about by one point, four goals, and Rotherham came 22nd. Oxford actually got off the foot of the table and came 23rd. And Charlton came last because Oxford scored one more goal than them. But Rotherham, Oxford and Charlton will all be playing League One football next season. Whereas Aston Villa, Brighton and Sheffield United will all be going to the promised land, the Premier League. Speaking of the Premier League, we will look at that in a little while. But first we've got these competitions the FA Cup, we saw this already. Manchester United defeating Manchester City 3-1. At least my favourite team won, even if we didn't really progress. Where did we get knocked out at? We got knocked out in the round three replay um, by Reading, which is kind of embarrassing, but it's just how it goes. As for the next competition, Carabao Cup. Everton defeat Manchester City. Manchester City got to two cup finals and lost them both. That's it. Heartbreaking. Where did my night come? They lost to Newcastle. And we... I don't remember where we lost, actually. Were we here? Did we play here? We played here. We beat Lincoln, just about... It's embarrassingly close. We only won 2-1 after winning 5-0 against Brentford just there. We lost to Middlesbrough on penalties. I remember that, because I was getting annoyed. Brentford City won there's a penalty shootout, though. <laughs> it's one good sign. As for the promotion player final, as you saw, we just played that. Uh, we beat... Birmingham 6-2 on aggregate to get through the semi-finals. Brentford beat Middlesbrough 3-2 on aggregate to qualify for the final. And then we just decided, yo, this is ours. In the Super Cup, it's the obviously the Champions League winners versus the Europa League winners of last season. Liverpool overcoming Napoli for that. In the Champions League, it was a Bayern Munich that defeated Inter Milan. I don't need to press my right trigger so aggressively, do I? Realistically. Oh, I have pressed it. It's just waiting to load. And in the Europa League, Manchester United defeated Ajax to win that 3-1 to the Red Devils. And in the World Cup, this is how it's looking. I don't think Nigeria actually must have qualified. And if they did, why the hell didn't they take me with them? They didn't. Okay. Scotland top of their group. Okay. Who did Germany lose to? Germany lost to China. All right. That's believable. I may give you guys an update on this after, if I remember, after the new season starts, but I'll probably forget, to be honest. And then we're back here again. So let's go look around the other big leagues. I will pick the leagues that we're looking at. So first of all, of course, the Premier League. Liverpool, once again, walk away with the Premier League and um, Colossal 98 points. Top four consist of Chelsea as well in second, Spurs in third, Manchester City in fourth. Manchester United just missing out on Champions League football, finishing fifth. Uh, any surprises down here? Any surprising teams doing badly? Blackburn, Bristol and Swansea. So all the teams that got promoted last season are relegated. That's not a good omen for us because we are, like we got promoted and <laughs> I don't want to go strip it down. But anyway, the Blackburn, Bristol City and Swansea City are going to be playing championship football again. We won't see them. For League One, QPR come top of that with Ipswich, get them automatically promoted as well. Any of Salford, Luton, Peterborough and Portsmouth will also play championship football, but I don't know who it will be. And down at the bottom end of League One, we've got Mansfield. No. Oh, fuck. I forgot. The... Oh no! Where the goals come from? <laughs> that Theo Johnson's left Bradford City, Mansfield, MK Dons, Northampton, and Bradford City will be playing League Two football. Oh damn it! All my work undone. As for League Two, Lincoln. I'm surprised they got relegated from League One. They're doing quite well in real life, but they win League Two, go back up to League One, Colchester and Bolton automatically promoted and any of Accrington, Exeter, Oldham and Forest Green will also go up. 
down on the bottom end, I know there's no relegation zone, but if there were to be, Barrow and Stevenage would be returning to the conference. As for the league, and Paris Saint-Germain topping that league once again, 98 points. Monaco, Marseille and Lyon complete the top four. Lille, very close there as well. And as the bottom three, we've got Nîmes Olympique, Stade Brestois, 29 and Troyes. I'm pretty sure we sold one of our players. Sheffield United to start by star. I can't remember which one it was. And I didn't want to do that. I want to do this. Bundesliga. Bayern Munich only winning the title by three points, you know. Dortmund hot on their heels. Um, Leverkusen and Mönchengladbach complete the top four. Leipzig and Frankfurt have little blue lines next to them as well. So I'm assuming they're in some European competition. As for the relegation, it actually has little lines on the side now. I didn't have that for FIFA 20 to like signify what they're doing. So I'm guessing Hamburg will be in a relegation playoff and then Mainz and Hertha Berlin will be playing second tier German football. As for Serie A, I've got Piemonte Calcio by one point, just edging out Inter for the Serie A league title. Napoli, Lazio complete the top four. Roma and Fiorentina must be in some sort of playoffs for European football. As for the relegation zone, they don't have a relegation zone. What the other lines there, at least, anyway? But the bottom three are Genoa, Crotone, and Benevento. So let's see what league. We'll do the rid of easy. Fuck it. Ajax come in top of that league with 88 points. Feyenoord, PSV, and Azi Alkmaar complete the top four. I used to have a Feyenoord fan that watched me when I was on Mixer, but we moved to Twitch and I don't know if he followed. I cannot remember. But anyway, Fortuna Sitard. V, 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 Venlo and RKC Valvich, all pronounced probably wrong by me there, uh, are the bottom three. The Ligue Nos, we'll fucking have a little browse at that, I suppose. Porto come top of that. Sporting, Benfica and Braga complete the top four. Rio have as well uh, in top five. There must be some sort of European football for them because of the little line next to the five, as you can see. Um, Braga and Benfica, big difference there. The top three just boggered off. Bottom three, though, we've got Forense, Gil Vicente, and Santa Clara. Uh, Scottish Premier League. Celtic have done it again. I think this is 11 in a row. If I can remember correctly, they won last season as well. Celtic, top of the table, 80 points. Rangers, four points behind them on 76. And then Motherwell and Aberdeen, complete top four, as if it needs to be a top four in the Scottish League. And St Mirren go down, and I'm pretty sure Hamilton play a relegation playoff. I actually don't know how the relegations of the Scottish Premier League works. La Liga Santander, though, that is the La Liga, the main Spanish league. Real Madrid have won the title by 12 points, hitting a century as well. Fair play to them. They did it in only 38 games as well. Brighton took 46 games to do it, so that's Aston Villa. Atletico Madrid in second place with 88 points. Barcelona and Sevilla, or Sevilla, sorry, I should say. I've completely messed that up. Uh, complete top four. Real Sociedad and Valencia will have some form of European football next season. Bottom three go to RCD, Espanyol, R Sporting and CD Leganes. And as for... Is that it now? There might be one other. No, that is it. That is all leagues. All leagues that I care to look at anyway. So before we end off, we'll do a little bit of... We'll do team stats, see the top scorers of each team. And then we will end off... Wait, a right mid got 17 goals for Bournemouth. Fair enough. They almost got promotion as well, so you can't really complain. David Brooks, top goal scorer for Bournemouth. Francisco Portillo, top goal scorer for Aston Villa. Colly Woodrow, top goal scorer for Barnsley. The high number of seven. Somehow Barnsley survived. Barnsley, I should say, not Barnsley. And Alan Halilovic, top scorer for Birmingham. In a playoff season, he got 16 goals. As for Brentford, Saeed Ben Rama, top goal scorer for Brentford. Incredible player, to be fair. I'm surprised he hasn't been snapped up by a bigger team. What's his rating? We can't see his rating. That's unfortunate. But um, he's got 22 goals. Wule, absolute hitman for Brighton in their uh, championship winning season. Look at all the scores as well. It wasn't Wule who was putting them all in. It was a good team performance from them. But Wule, top scorer, 31 goals for him. Cardiff. Top scorer was Robert Glatzel with 11 in 23. Not too shabby, to be honest, since you're only playing 23 games. Jorge Correa with the top scorer award for Charlton. And it's kind of obvious to see why they came bottom. 
not enough goals. So quite simply. Six goals only. For Jordan Ibe, it's his top scorer. His well, his top scorer award is shared by Jack Marriott and Kamil Zosviak. Um, seven goals apiece from each of them. Derby finishing mid table, it's not too bad. Wayne Rooney down here with twenty two appearances and just one goal. Huddersfield Town, their top goal scorer was Adama Diakabi with 11 goals in 39 appearances. Middlesbrough's top scorer was Chuba Akpom. And the playoff season for them wasn't too shabby. 19 goals coming from him, playing every single game. Mason Bennett, 17 goals in 45 appearances from Millwall. Millwall didn't do too badly, to be fair. They could have been edged on playoffs if they kept the form going. Marcos Dieperman for Norwich was their top scorer. Where is Timo Pukki? Do they have Timo Pukki? That answers my question. He's not there because they don't have him. But top scorer goes to Steeperman with 11 goals. As for Nottingham Forest, Joe Carvalho getting 13 goals for the Forest. I'm pretty sure some of those came against me as well, which are quite annoying, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Oxford's top goal scorer, even though they got relegated, Matty Taylor did the best he could with 13 goals and nine, uh, 39 appearances. Um, Preston North End's Top goal scorer was Sean Maguire, 14 goals there. Um, they had a mid-table season, I think. Reading, another mid-table side. Yaku Meite with 12 goals, um, 33 appearances. As for Rotherham, it's clear to see why they went down as well. Not a lot of goals either. They were shared out though, at least they shared them out. But the top goal scorer had six goals, Batista Merlini. As for Sheffield United, we had quite a few come from the strike force and everyone else kind of just added when they felt like it. Theo Johnson getting 36 goals in 39 appearances of course and Sam having a very good season as well. As for Sheffield Wednesday though, the other side, the dark side of Sheffield, Callum Patterson getting 11 goals for the Wednesdays uh, in 44 appearances. As for Stoke City, 12 goals, 44 appearances for Jacob Brown. Um, I think they were bottom end of the table. Sunderland didn't do too greatly this season, but they didn't get relegated, so that's a positive. They've actually got a guy on their team called Max Power, which is fucking awesome. Uh, but Karamoko Bamba, Dauda Karamoko Bamba, I think I pronounced that wrong, but he got nine goals in 43 appearances. Uh, Ignacio Paceto, the top scorer for Watford, and that explains quite a lot as to why they didn't do well this season, because most of their players, the top players, didn't get a lot of appearances for whatever reason. I don't know what's going on there. They're giving everyone a chance, I guess. Um, Seto top scorer for Wickham who just survived by the skin of their teeth Daryl Horgan with 6 goals and 45 appearances they're going to need a bigger scorer if they're going to survive again I think that's us back to the start so before we go we are going to just quickly browse over these I'll be top 5 and then any other Sheffield United players so Theo Johnson with 36 and 39 Roulet with 31 and 45 and Sam with 27 and 46 Portillo with 23 and 45 and Ben Rama, 22 and 45 as well. Probably no press or no more Sheffield players feature here. I mean, Fernandes could have got onto there, but didn't quite. Top assist makers, Theo Johnson, 24 and 39. And Sam with 16 and 46. Macias with 13 and 45. Baselli with 11 and 45. They're both for Brighton. And then Fernandes for Aston Villa with 11 and 44. As for clean sheets, we've got Sabreda up top there, 23 and 38. A very good clean sheet record, to be honest. Ryan with 21 and 45. Martinez with 19 and 41. Will Smith with 15 and 33. And then Ramsdale rounding out the top five. Actually doing very well towards the end of the season in terms of goalkeeping. Uh, 15 clean sheets in 28 matches. Yellow cards really don't matter too much. I won't read any of them out, but we can scan over them. We won't have any players in there. But have a little scan of them if you really care about yellow cards. And there's some red card ones as well. If you give a fuck about any of those red cards. I don't think we got, or personally, I didn't get a yellow or red. I don't know if a team got one. Maybe some, someone did somewhere down the line, but no idea. So last thing we're going to do is not just going to check my stats, but we're going to check the whole club stats. This is how it's looking. So 44 and 46 in all competitions with 26 assists. That's a great return. And then Sam having a Six season to be fair as well. Brilliant player. Brilliant strike partner to be honest. 30 goals and 20 assists in just 53 appearances. Fernandez signed in January. Didn't play a lot. But 11 goals in 14 championship games. 
and uh, four assists overall as well. Can't complain, can you, when that guy does that return? And he'll be a very useful player in the Premier League. And, uh, and you can read down the rest of them. I'll read down to where there's no goals and then I'll stop. In fact, I'll just read the whole. I'll go the whole team. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it, mate. Is uh, Jagielka retiring? So interest. Oh, oops, I pressed the... You know what? Fine. We'll go, well, it doesn't matter. He probably will. Is there any player... There's a few players without any appearances. Jagielka didn't get a single appearance. Norrington Davis didn't get an appearance. Smith didn't. I'm assuming the rest of these won't have had an appearance. Oh, no. Freeman got a couple. Fodringham got a few. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. So, one last squad report. I'm not going to take a look at the accomplishments because I did that last episode and I'll do it next episode. We'll just take a look at the squad report and then we'll end it off. So, this is how we're looking. 70 physical, 42 defending, 79 dribbling, 64 passing, 80 shooting, 81 pace, 79 acceleration, 78 agility, 75 balance, 77 jumping, 78 reactions, 83 spent speed, uh, 81 stamina, strength 70, aggression 53, attack position 84, Composure 50, interceptions 40, and vision 77. Ball control 88, crossing 46, curve 58, defensive awareness 38, dribbling 76, free kick accuracy 51, finishing 84, heading accuracy 73, long pass 53, long shots 74, penalties 71, short pass 75, shot power 81, slide tackle 38, stand tackle 40, and volleys 73. So very strong player. I aim for 80 by the end of the season. We hit that goal and I think maybe 81 or 82 would be a realistic growth ambition for next season. It's going to be a grind to get some more of these growth things done. But I strongly believe we can do it. So let's reach the end of the season and let's say adios to season two. And we'll um, move ourselves into season three. Congratulations on meeting the league objectives we set out at the start of the season. You achieved in line with expectations and all that was asked of you when I communicated our plans and ambitions earlier in the campaign. My hope now is that you can use the season's achievements as motivation. Any extra confidence should help you set even higher standards in the future. I don't... Oh yeah, I can view season objectives. I said I don't know if I could, but I can. These were the objectives I got given at the start of the season. Keep an average league match rating of 7.7 .7 or better. We hit that with an 8.5. Set up a minimum of 5 goals for the team. We set up 24. Expecting you to score at least four goals this season, we sat, uh, we scored 36 and maintained no less than a 21% shots to goals conversion rate and we got 40%. So we completed them all and I just want to say as well, this is only league objectives, which is why 36 and 24 are the numbers that are put there. There's no comp uh, cup competitions, no championship playoffs involved in that. So as we end season two... It's been a good season. Might not have gone completely to plan uh, due to the fact that I wanted to win the league or at least get automatic promotion and we ended up having to go through the playoffs. But the importance is we'll be playing Premier League football. Whether it'll be at Sheffield United, I don't know. Whether I just sign for a completely different club out of the blue, we will see. Keep you uh, posted. But if Manchester United come knocking, I will be going there. Any other club, I think I'll probably decline because I want to stay at Sheffield United or go to Manchester United. Manchester United, of course, the team I support. Sheffield United, of course, the team I just carried to the Championship or to the Premier League. Carried through the Championship. I wouldn't say it was a solo carry though and Sam definitely pulled his weight and so did a lot of the other players. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing if we can survive in the Premier League. I don't see any like European football for Sheffield United. Obviously, the aim is to survive relegation and probably mid-table at best. If Man United do come knocking and I do sign for them, then the objective of Manchester United will be to win the league. Like, that's pretty much it. We have to, or at least get Champions League football again because they finished fifth in the last season in this game. I don't know, though. There's a lot of possibilities. I'm going to save it as soon as we go in here, by the way, and I'm going to end it there. I'm not going to sim any further. We're just going to kick off season three. If you've got any ideas on how to spice up the career mode a bit, change it up, or anything, 
I'm happy to listen to suggestions. If this loading screen could be any slower, that would be magic. That would be brilliant. I would love a slow loading screen, to be honest. Really taking a while, isn't it? Oh, there we go. As soon as I spoke. <laughs> so, there is our pre-season group. We've got Leon, Fenerbahce and Feyenoord. That's not going to be fucking plain sailing at all. But I want to know what our first Premier League game is going to be. We're going to be starting off against fucking Spurs, of course. We don't get an easy start. Why would we? But, I mean... Balance is restored as it is in the Premier League and in the Championship anyway. Because all the team, well, maybe not Championship actually, but in the Premier League, all the teams that start off career mode in the Premier League are back in, right? I think. Got the message as well league expectations. We're in the Premier League now, lads, so just remember that. Okay, these are doable, very doable actually. Keep an average league match rating of six or higher. Set up a minimum of five goals for the team, expecting you to score at least eight goals this season and maintain no less than a 10% shots to goals conversion rate. But that's all going to be for next time. I don't think I'm going to do an episode tomorrow, but I probably will do one on Tuesday. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. But that is going to end the player career mode episode. Before we go though, we'll take a look at stories and we might as well take a little look at the World Cup as well. Gross goal, seals, for defeat, already read that. So if United fans excited by Theo Johnson arrival, what? This has got to be a glitch, right? Because I've been here a season. I'm not reading that because we've already been here for a season. <laughs> but yep, we will start against Spurs, Fred's favourite club. So, there we go. I know the World Cup won't be finished yet, but we'll, take a, we'll have a little quick update, a little look on how it's going. And once it's done, I'll take a look, obviously, at the results. Oh, we're in the round of 16. Or the cup is in the round of 16. Personally, we aren't, but... I guess we are, technically, because England are. England in the round of 16, beating Denmark. Did Scotland make it to the round of 16? No fucking shot. How did the group stages go in? Denmark, Netherlands, Colombia, Sweden... Amer What's happened to America, guys? I guess I'll have to wait and see. Uh, Spain top their group with Russia going through as well. I'm not surprised there. Turkey and Argentina. Quite surprising that Belgium didn't get through, but there you go. France and Finland. Okay. Intriguing. Italy and Mexico. Probably the ones I expect. Germany and Scotland. Oh, okay, it was close between Scotland and Cameroon. It's only because Scotland scored an extra goal. Portugal and Brazil, yeah, probably expected. But anyway, that's a quick little update on the World Cup. And we're not in it, unfortunately, because Nigeria didn't qualify. But maybe we'll get picked for an Africa Cup of Nations and possibly World Cup 2026 when it comes around. We might get put in for some qualifiers as well. I have to wait and see. But I hope you guys have enjoyed another episode of the Theo Johnson Player Career Mode. We have successfully completed our objective for this one, which is getting into the Premier League. And next time... We'll be going through pre-season and we'll finish pre-season and then we'll be going in to the Premier League. Bye for now.